In this video we will continue with our discussion of dependent sources. You can see by the on, from the circuit at the right we have a current dependent current source. So let's go ahead and create a new net list. And we'll open up LT Spice. Okay, so for this we have, uh, I'm doing my node designations just a little bit different just to show the uh, um, different ways that netlist can be defined in LT Spice. I have the top node designated as node A and then I'm going to designate this node here as V1 and this node here as V2. Now as we're entering this, uh, let's go ahead and go through the entering this. We will save the dependent source for last. Um, just just to um, make a point on how that's going to be entered. Alright, so we'll start with our sources and our source here is our 120 volt source that is between the ground node or node 0 and node A. So I'll call that V1. The positive terminal is at A, the negative terminal is at 0 and that is a 120 volt source. We'll save the dependent current source here for later and we'll go ahead and enter our resistors. <clears throat> R1 will use the 3 kilo ohm resistor and that is between node A and node V1 and that has a value of 3K. Resistor 2 we'll define as the 1 mega ohm resistor and that is between node V1 and node V2 and that is 1 MEG. Remember that you have to use the full MEG to designate mega because the M is used to designate milli. R4 will be 8 kilo ohm resistor and that is between node V1 and the reference ground node and that has a value of 8K. That should be designated R3 not R4. And then R4 is the 5 kilo ohm resistor and that is between node V2 and node 0 and that is 5K. And that designates all the resistors here. So we need to look at the dependent source. So let's see what symbol we need to use for the dependent source. We'll open up the LT Spice help, click under LT Spice and circuit elements and we have a current dependent current source so that designation is F. The G and the H sources will be defined very similarly to the E and the F sources, the E that we did in the last video and the F source that we're doing in this video. So we'll go back up here to sources and this will be F1 and again since this is a current source the positive terminal is the terminal that the current is entering, the negative terminal is the current that the terminal that the current is leaving. So the positive terminal will be A and the negative terminal will be V2. We now need to designate the current that this is dependent on. And so what we need to do there is we need to have a voltage source in our circuit that is actually measuring this dependence, this current on which this source is dependent on. So we have not yet defined that source yet. So let's move down. And just as before when we were doing mesh analysis, we need to designate a zero volt source that will be used to measure current. So I'm going to, since the IA current is flowing through this one mega ohm resistor, 
I'm going to put a zero volt source right here with a positive terminal on the right so that the current is entering the positive terminal. So I'll come over here and in my net list I will designate metering sources. It will just be one in this case. And when I put that source here that is going to create a new node and I call that node 99. And so that metering source is going to be VMTR. I'm going to just call it MTR for since it is a metering source. Uh, you can designate it anything you would like that makes sense as long as it begins with a V. And that's going to be positive terminal at node 99, negative terminal at V1, and it will have a value of zero. And so this is the metering source for dependent current source. Okay, so we have this designation here, and you will note that since we have defined this new node here, the one mega ohm resistor is now is no longer between V1 and V2. So we have to change that designation for the one mega ohm resistor from V1 to V2 to node 99 to V2. So we want to make that change here for the one mega ohm between nodes 99 and V2. It's very important that uh, you make that designation otherwise uh, basically your circuit will not uh, analyze correctly. Okay so we're going to uh, finish out F1 and so what we're doing here F1 is between A and V2 and it is dependent on V meter and what that designates is whatever current this source measures is going to be the dependency on of this source here. And then we put the gain in of 5 and so we'll designate that as a current dependent current source with a gain of 5. And then for our very last we have to tell it uh, LT Spice how to analyze this so we give it a directive of dot op tell it to do a DC operating point. We can now run that and we can see our result node A has 120 volts the V2 node is designated at negative 1.77 volts the V1 node is 87.089. Notice node 99 is also at 87.0789 because they are only separated by this zero volt source. And you get the current for the dependent source here is going to be the current F1 and that has a value of about 0.444 milliamps on that uh, device there. And so that's the analysis for that circuit using a current dependent current source. If you're using some of the other dependent current sources, they're specified in the same way. We can look at the help menu. And pull up, for example, the voltage dependent current source. And we can see it's designated with a G followed by other values, the positive node, the negative node. And since this is a voltage dependent source, the NC are the dependency nodes, and then you designate the gain. And those, that's the sequence that uh, those are listed. For the current dependent voltage source, we have the H followed by the specific designation, the positive node, the negative node. VNAM is the um, dependency, the voltage source on which this that is measuring the current and then the trans resistance is uh, just the gain of that source itself.